Hi, Lindsay here with The Mom Edit talking about the search for comfortable shoes. Today I am going to be talking about Sarah Flint's Perfect Sandal 85. So many of you have, have probably heard of Sarah Flint. Her shoes are very popular with all of the famous people. You may have seen them on Meghan Markle, Serena Williams, Scarlett Johansson, the list kind of goes on and on. But I actually hadn't heard about Sarah Flint's until I went to a wedding about a year ago. And two women actually came up to me at the wedding to show off their Sarah Flint shoes and tell me how comfortable they were. So I got super excited about them. Beautiful shoe, luxury brand that also focused focused on comfort, seemed right in line with what, I'm, what I usually am looking for. So I went on to the website and took a look, and the shoes that I wanted were $550. Seeing that I typically wear naturalizers to weddings and special events, and they are usually in the $120 to $140 range, I was, it definitely gave me pause. And so I kind of stopped and, you know, they went out of my mind for a little bit, but then I had a special event that I was going to uh, this October and was looking for a new pair of heels because I didn't have this color and I decided to give it a go. I kind of figured that, all right, if they're as comfortable and as popular as everyone says, that maybe, you know, I buy this one pair of neutral heels and they last me forever and I wear them to every wedding and every special event forever and always. I will tell you that Shayna also ordered a pair and we both wore them to this event that uh, we went to in October and we had two very different experiences. So I will say that I don't think that they are for everyone, but I do know that they are quite loved by many. Okay, so I decided to order the sand half color because that was kind of the most neutral color for me and what I usually uh, wear heels with. But they also come in a beautiful black, that's what Shayna ordered. And then they come in a gold that is not too in your face flashy, it's very pretty. And then they also have a gunmetal color that is really special. I think especially for extra fancy events or the holidays, the color is really, really nice. All right, let's get into the details. Sarah Flint, the brand, I was very impressed with their uh, about page on their website. So their shoes are 100% certified made in Italy, 100% Italian leather used, and they work with skilled artisans in small factories, factories that have been owned for you know, third or fourth generation family owned, and eight to 55 artisans at the most hand crafting each shoe. This specific heel that I uh, decided to order, let's go through some of the details of the appearance. They're beautiful. They are absolutely beautiful. I'm going to show you in comparison with the naturalizer, the naturalizer violet, which is the most similar style right now to these with naturalizer. You can see that the sand color of the Sarah Flint, I think is, is definitely prettier. This has a little bit too much pink undertone for me. And this is just, I, I think it's a, a prettier color. The ankle strap with the buckle, the buckle is very nice. It's functional. Same with the naturalizer but the, the buckle is not quite as vibrant. You can see the heel placement in the Sarah Flint's I think is better than the heel placement of the Naturalizer Violets. I don't love that the Naturalizer Violets go in a little bit further and they're not directly under the weight of my heel. And then the stiletto heel is, you know, it's it's gorgeous <laughs> compared to the, the Naturalizer. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is the comfort features. You can see that there is this raised padded arch support that is put in place for extra comfort. There's extra padding in the heel for extra comfort. And then overall, there is extra padding in the foot bed as well. One other thing to keep in mind is that the stiletto heel is actually a steel rod. So it feels very, very secure, which is definitely important to me in a special event heel. So they did very well on that. One other thing to mention is that the ankle strap, I was worried sometimes in luxury brand shoes, the ankle strap does not fit my ankles um, because my ankles are on the bigger side. But the Sarah Flint's definitely fit around my ankle just fine. And in terms of fit, the fit is initially I ordered my usual seven and a half or the conversion for seven and a half. And there was a little bit of room in the back of the heel. And so I chatted with one of Sarah Flint's customer representatives and she advised that I order the size smaller. So I ended up ordering the equivalent to a size seven 
and they definitely fit my heel better. And uh, the length of the footbed was definitely correct. So I definitely appreciated the customer support uh, service and they mailed it right out to me um, as soon as I sent them back. It was an easy exchange. So the problem where these did not fit me very well is in the toe box and the width. So I do not have a wide foot, but I have in terms of, I don't require wide sizing, but I definitely have a wide ish foot and this is where the problem was these were just too narrow for me the straps right here were um, very pinchy and so for the special event that Shane and I went to she was super happy she loved her shoes at the end of the night she said that I do believe that she made a bold statement that she was never going to wear any other shoe besides Sarah Flint to special events we'll see about that but I however had taken mine off and ended up walking barefoot on the streets of Philadelphia because mine were so uncomfortable so I actually contacted Sarah Flint to the customer service representatives to try to figure out what went wrong. And they were super, super helpful. We definitely determined that the reason why they weren't comfortable in the arch and they weren't comfortable in the back was primarily because they didn't fit right here with the straps. Um, they were too squeezy and not wide enough. They, the customer representative suggested that I wear them around the house with thick socks for a couple days, which I did. And it definitely helped. However, they still are not perfect. It definitely made some more room for my foot and definitely made it more comfortable, but not perfect. And so I contacted Sarah Flint again and said, hey, you know, I tried this, I you know, wore up with socks for two days and it didn't work. And they actually offered to have them sent for me to uh, their one of their cobblers to have it professionally stretched. And at this point, I have to say, it felt like a lot of work <laughs> for such an expensive shoe. So I haven't done it yeah, I will do it because they were $550 and I will definitely send them and have them stretched. But I was a little frustrated that they were so uncomfortable for me and were requiring so much work. So we'll see. I will I will get them professionally stretched and send them to the cobbler, courtesy of Sarah Flint. And if they come back and they're amazing, I will do a whole new video. But as of now, they are not for me and I'm going to stick with my naturalizers. But I will say, and I will link below to some of the times that Shayna has mentioned them as well as, I'm sure she'll do a full post on it soon. Shayna loved them and other people loved them. Shayna's foot is significantly thinner and narrower than my foot though. Just keep that in mind. So they may be the perfect shoe for you if you have a narrower foot. But if you have a wider foot, then I would maybe think about it because you're definitely going to have to put in some effort into having them stretched and or uh, breaking them in yourself around the house. So that is it for my review of Sarah Flint and that's it. I'll see you guys soon.